Good morning, guys. Um, forgot to, to actually no, I didn't forget. I just didn't uh, take care of yesterday's useless fact. So I'm gonna take care of it today. So yesterday I was supposed to do eclipse, but that's gonna be today's useless fact. All right. So here we go. Ancient cultures may not have understood the causes of eclipses, but they were often able to predict them. The gradual appearance of a lunar eclipse led people to suspect that something was consuming the moon. In fact, the ancient Chinese term for an eclipse is shi, shi, ah. Okay, my Mandarin isn't all that great. Which also means to eat. The dark blood color of most lunar eclipses is uh, plural confirmed the idea that the moon was being eaten with blood spread across its face. By February 1504, the famed explorer Christopher Columbus had been marooned on Jamaica for several months. Though the island natives initially brought him food, arrogant Columbus alienated them so much that they eventually stopped. As hunger and possible starvation set in, Columbus consulted his shipboard almanac and discovered that an eclipse uh, was due. Hmm. He called together the native chiefs and warned that if they continued to deny him food, then God would punish them with a marked sign in the sky. He would darken the moon. Arguably, the most famous eclipse of ancient times ended a five-year war between the Lydians and the Medes. The two Middle Eastern armies were consumed in battle when the day suddenly turned into night. The sign of this solar eclipse recorded date is fixed as May 28, 585 BC, uh, was enough cause to cease the fighting at once. They agreed to a peace treaty and cemented the bond with a double marriage. A solar eclipse can last up to 7 minutes 31 seconds. And that does it for today's useless facts. Uh, I guess that was yesterday's useless fact as well. But anyway, uh, tomorrow, uh, useless fact is... No, I already did uh, Thomas Edison, I think. I think? Did I? Um, yeah. I did eggs, Eiffel Tower, Elder Tree. Elder Tree. Alright, tomorrow's useless facts will be on Elder Tree. Alright, I'm on my way to work now. It's going to be another full day of work. So, office, then field, um, just uh, filled up on gas, so uh, hopefully that did not just cost me a couple minutes. Um, kind of sucks that I started uh, this job during the last week of the month. Because my other job just called me this morning, because it is the end of the month, which usually me, which means, you know, end of the month sales. And but I can't go in today. It's like I'm not used to the schedule yet. So and I didn't get out of bed early enough to get ready. And uh, I still got stuff I need to take care of prior to work. Yeah, um, yeah, just not used to the schedule yet. So, and with the way the uh, schedule looks right now, I think um, might even have to drop the old job in like a week or two. It's just too much, I think. It's like. Working at NCG, that's going to be over 40 hours as it is. And uh, add in the uh, my other job at the health food store. Oh, actually, uh, with NCG, it's over 50 hours. So, yeah, I'll just be really, really fried if I keep on doing both jobs. 
and on top of that, there's still Steam Funk Studio. Um, haven't been able to uh, factor in time for that yet. Right now, is uh, I'm looking at at least 60 hours a week of work. This is a that's like a really really huge jump for me to go from 16 hours of work to 60 hours. So it has it. This is definitely really really overwhelming. So, uh, but <sighs> gotta do what I got gotta do, right? Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Going to work.